After recording impressive success with the short film Once, which screened at the Dorban Film Festival, and the television film Daisy's Secret, filmmaker J. Franklin Jutibo takes his craft one notch higher with his first feature-length film titled Dinner. The movie follows the chain of events that ensued when five friends get together for a dinner party and find out secrets about each other's relationships and the one person in the middle of it all. You think that all unmarried women are liars and cheats or just women in general? Even married women. Come on, dude, now, come on. Now that's taking it too far. What? Come on. You think married women don't cheat and lie about it? Well, I mean, it doesn't mean that there are not some married women who cheat and lie, but you're generalizing. Okay. Prove me wrong. It's a story that came to me as an idea for a short film initially, and we were actually shooting a, a TV series for Ebony Life, and there was something that happened right in front of the location, and I was like, ah, how would it feel like to have five characters in the same living room or dining table having dinner and there's sort of a connection between all of them and only one or two of them know it. And it came into my head like that. I'm like, okay, I should title this film Dinner. And with that, I was able to create a future length film out of it. A graduate of accounting from the University of Benin, Jatibo's interest in movies stems from an early age. A lover of comic books and storytelling, he transitioned from writing prose to screenwriting in 2012 to produce the short films. Developing his art for the cinema came naturally for someone who already loved telling stories. Being a storyteller, it's easy for you to tell stories. And I think that was the confidence I have in making this movie dinner. I've always been a storyteller. And um, for most people, they get scared when it's time to make a feature length film. Yes, there is that fear like, oh, is it going to work? Or is it going to be a flop? Do you understand? But the core thing of telling stories and making a film is that you're telling a story. So once you have a story that's good enough, then you should be rest assured that as long as you understand the technicals and you have the right team to put this story together, because it's not just one person running the show. There are different departments. You have the, the video, visual department, you have the art direction, you have sound, you have costume, you have makeup, you have the locations, and you have the actors and all that. So for me, it, it wasn't difficult because I had to take my time to look for the best in all the departments. And the, the greatest or the hardest part is putting that team together and then getting the right actors that can interpret the role of the characters you had created. When a good girl goes bad, she's gone forever. You don't get it, do you? Oh, don't worry, your pretty little head, because eventually we always find out now, don't we? The truth is, I'd rather be the asshole than be the good guy. I'd rather be the guy with the D than the one who's swallowing the D. Because actually, good guys always finish last. Dinner stars A-list acts Richard Mofed Damijo and Iretiola Doyle, alongside younger actors like Deyemi Okalaon, Kira Haywatch, and others. Have you had sex with other women? Hmm? Moving on. Don't you think it's wiser if, you know, I wait until the wedding itself? Have we met before? I mean, could she look kind of familiar? No, we haven't. How about me and you one last time? There are good girls out there. Besides, people change. For an actor, what they want to be part of is a great story. Everybody wants to be part of that story that they know is going to make a difference, going to leave its mark, or is going to change the narrative. So for me, um, RMD was easy because I, I met him. I was looking for someone to introduce me to him, but no one did. And for some reason, I came out of my house one day and I saw him. <laughs> and we exchanged email addresses. And eventually, we exchanged phone numbers. I wanted him to be in another film, but we weren't ready to shoot that. So when I wrote the script, I had his role written down for him. So I emailed him the script. I sent him a text message like, boss, I have something for you. Check your email. He does, reads, his, he was in the US, and then he sends me a message like, Jay, this script is really, really good. I like the characters. And that was the rest for me. Ireti, we met on a set as well. And um, I emailed her the script as well and called her like, ah, 
Auntie Reti, I have a project for you. Read and let me know your thoughts. She sends me a text back like, this is genius. And this is very, very good. But her role was like, ah. So she was like, OK, anyway, she would do it. And then for the other actors, I had an audition for most of them. Um, for DME Okonlao, we've been friends. So he was part of the process. And then the others I met along the process of hiring actors, auditioning actors. And eventually, I was able to put together a team that was solid enough to interpret my story. Nothing but a true friend to you, no matter what you've been through. Come down and open this book. Officer! And this is how you repay me? Dinner is also accompanied with original soundtracks recorded by some Nigerian artists, including the lead single by alternative pop singer Maka, titled Good Time. I tell people 70% of your film is sound. So that means the sound you hear, the, the theme song, the score that drives your, your visuals, it all has to do with sound. And getting the right sound that can best interpret your story is key. So for me, this film has this soul, urban feel. And for me to interpret the story properly, I needed that kind of song. I think she's a genius artist. She's a great singer, a great musician, and extremely talented. And for me, it was just getting somebody who understood the vibe of the film and getting them to make songs for the film. I have all the artists on the, film, on the track list. I have IBK Spacey Boy, who did two songs. I had a song from Bez, Stronger. I have another one from Ill Bliss. So it's a combination of a certain genre, that new soul type of songs that I had on the film. Dinner goes on Nigerian cinemas later this year.